So welcome to the press conference of the movie a Royal Affair and this year's competition. I'm going to introduce our, our guests to you, starting from your very left. This is the producer, Louise Vest. Welcome. And next to her, this is David Denchik, who played Gulbeer and who is also a shooting star in this year's Berlin Film Fest. Welcome to Berlin. And this is Trine Dürholm. It's a pleasure to have you here. She played the Queen, of course. And this is Mikkelbu Volska, who played the King. The crazy King. And also a shooting star playing Carolina Alicia Vikander. Welcome. And I know that you know him, Mats Mikkelsen. Welcome to Berlin. And this is next to me, the director of the movie, Nikolai Arcel. Welcome to Berlin. There's a the first question on the left, please. Uh, I'm Alessandro Giannini from Brazil, and uh, I would like to ask you, uh, my question goes to the director. Um, it's a, an obvious question, but I, I need to, to hear. Uh, if you were in, in some way inspired by uh, Coppola's film Marie Antoinette, Antoinette and uh, uh, what's the backstory around this, this film? Why did you do it? Well, I, I, I'll just answer in reverse. The first, uh, uh, this story about uh, Johannes Trun to Karolina Mathilde and the King is a very famous one in Denmark. And uh, we sort of learn it from when we are school kids. And uh, so this is a story that had been with me from, for a long time. And, uh, and at one point I thought, why hasn't anybody done this yet? Why hasn't it become a film? Because it's, it's such a fantastic, you know, has so many emotions and such a, a big story. So that was the... And the other thing is I, I wasn't uh, inspired by Marie Antoinette so much. Marie Antoinette was interested in other things, I think, than I, than I am. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. There's another question on the left. Hello, my name is uh, Robert Iancu. I'm uh, from Romania, Radio Links. Thank you for this incredible movie. Thank you, from my point of view, it's the best movie that I saw uh, this edition of the Berlinale. Thank you. And uh, my heart is uh, pumping, really. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed... <laughs> Thank you. No matter the uh, other details. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling emotions now. <laughs> That's good. I only want questions from this guy from now on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to tell that to me. <laughs> um, congratulations to everybody. My question goes uh, for Mads. Um, how difficult it was for you with this new type of role, this new type of uh, movie, new feelings, new ideas, new... Thank you. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure it's uh, that different from uh, any other characters I've ever played. It's the same. No, <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, I mean, I approach a film the same way always. Uh, I try to understand what's inside the head of the director and, uh, and what's, what's in the script. And, and in many ways it was easy because I've rarely seen a period film or what we call a costume film uh, that, that kind of awoke any feelings in me. But when I was reading the script, I, I got really, really moved by reading, just reading it. And then I was just imagining when we would put some blood and flesh into it as well. I mean, we can't be all wrong. Uh, and then meeting Nikolai, uh, it, it, it's never easy to make a film. There's a lot of choices to make, but, but I think Nikolai created a universe where we were allowed to, to be intimate with this kind of, uh, of period film, which is, I, in, in my world, is pretty rare. Thank you. There was another question on the left. Um, good evening, Maciej Berlin from Polish Radio. Congratulations on this excellent picture. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I have a question to the director. How much of fiction is there in this love story between the Queen and Strunzi? That's the first question. And then I have a second question going to Alicia. Um, first of all, I have to say wonderful perfect, splendid rendition in this movie. I enjoyed it a lot. 
Um, you are here with two films, one in Generation and this one in Competition. How important is the Berlin Film Festival for you? And how, what, what impressions do you already gain from this festival? Thanks a lot. So I should take the, the first one. Uh, the, the, the love story, I mean, the story is true. It's based on, on facts. And uh, even though, of course, there were no uh, reporters uh, walking around the court back then uh, and checking and taking photos of them uh, having this affair, we, in fact, know that they did have an affair. And, uh, and, and, and then you could say, how much in love were they? The romantic in me chooses to say that they were very much in love. Um, and um, well, I, I was here last year as a shooting star, and I couldn't be happier to be back here again. And having two films is just incredible and such an honor. Um, apart from that, I've, I've known about this film festival since I was a little kid, and I think I've always kind of ranked this festival the highest. Um, not because it's a great, you know, privilege to be here, but that I've always had the impression that it's very relaxed and still quite edgy and cool. And I, th yeah, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next question, please. Uh, no, I'm sorry, she was first. I'm sorry, your, your next one. Hi, um, Helen Barlow from Australia. Um, uh, this, this film is a bit different to a lot of period dramas we see out of Britain. Um, did you kind of want to make a mark um, and say we are different and a little bit subversive because we certainly don't don't hear about dirty penises. And even Alicia's um, nipple was visible in the bath. That's a very Scandinavian touch, I thought. <laughs> I'd like you to comment on, on the subversiveness, a little bit of this saying, you know, this isn't your average period drama. These people were subversives themselves. Yes, uh, well, I, I would love to tell you that uh, I meant to be very subversive with this picture, <laughs> but I, I didn't think about it that way. I tried to be true to uh, to the characters, obviously, and, I, and what I think, how they talked uh, together, and they were quite blunt, I'm sure. And uh, and it was not, I was not trying to make my mark in, in some revolution against any kind of film. For instance, I'm very much inspired by and very happy with the British uh, period films they have are mostly the best period films that are out there. So I, I didn't try to sort of say, okay, I can do this differently. I just tried to be true to the story. Okay, another one, uh, your turn now. Est-ce que je peux parler en français? Oh, yeah, okay. Alors, uh, je voudrais d'abord uh, uh, présenter uh, toutes mes félicitations au directeur parce que vraiment, dans un monde qui vit maintenant les fondamentalismes religieux, Voir un film qui s'inspire des années Lumière et de Voltaire, c'est vraiment quelque chose de très important. Et je me rappelle aussi que dans Marc de cette époque, euh, il y a récemment l'affaire aussi des caricatures de Mahomet. C'est-à-dire que euh, les vents ont soufflé après euh, contre les, les réactionnalismes, les conservatismes de cette époque. Est-ce que vous avez quelques euh, formations spéciales en ce qui concerne les idées euh, de Voltaire et tout ça Et vous voyez les dangers actuels de la montée du fondamentalisme Ok, j'ai eu beaucoup de questions, mais pas l'exacte question. Qu'est-ce que c'est l'exacte question Then how much you got from the ideas of Voltaire, but I'm not sure. Maybe you could repeat it again. Yes, so no, I'm sorry. What, what did, how did we go oui, oui. into the whole enlightenment and all si, that? I think, yes. Si vous partagez la crainte de certaines oh. personnes qui oh. sont pour Voltaire euh, contre la montée du fondamentalisme, non seulement dans le christianisme, comme dans la religion musulmane. <laughs> Do I fear them? Well, the, 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 no, not at all. I mean, uh, I, on the contrary, I think this is a very much a tribute to uh, the ideas of enlightenment. I hope I got your question right, because it sounds... Uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, no, I'm very... Um, I, think, uh, I think for me, this story about to coming to court with all the, these revolutionary ideas are very 
uh, it's a positive thing. And also I think that obviously the French Revolution happened very, very soon after this story ends. And it's in the same stream of, of, of uh, sort of political movements that happened throughout Europe in this period. And so I thought it was interesting that, that in a small way, we in Denmark had a, had a, a tiny, you know, intellectual revolution. <laughs> very small, very small, but still uh, sort of in the beginnings of this whole thing. Thank you. And there's a question in the middle. Uh, hello, Eva Přivřelová. As a journalist coming from the Czech Republic, I must ask about the Czech location. How do you find them? How did you find them? And could you tell us something about the shooting in the Czech Republic? Thank you. Who wants to ask? Is this to me again? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we, we, uh, yes, the producer can... Uh, Maybe she can. Yes, I mean, in, in we are a small, uh, small country. Denmark is a small country. We, we need to go abroad to finance our films. The Czech Republic has a really, really good um, industry in taking in films from abroad. And that meant a lot for this film to be able to go there and to 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 shoot there. And and they had they had better location than in Denmark. I mean, there were more left from the seven seventeen hundred century. So so it was kind of yeah. It it was natural for us to to go abroad to to shoot this film. Thank you. And there's a question on the right. Um, bonjour. Je parle en français aussi. Excusez-moi. Mettez votre oreillette. Ben, merci beaucoup pour ce film, c'était un plaisir de le voir. Euh, certains de mes collègues m'ont volé mes questions, quelques questions. Alors, ma, ma question à, au réalisateur, euh, est-ce que vous avez consulté des historiens pour, pour ce film d'abord Et ma deuxième question pour les... Euh, je continue ma question pour les réalisateurs. Comment vous avez fait aussi pour les scènes extérieures, le château euh, et tout, tout, tout le, le décor extérieur Et maintenant, ma deuxième question, c'est pour les comédiens. Euh, vous avez vraiment interprété remarquablement vos, vos, vos personnages. Comment vous avez campé ces personnages C'est-à-dire, comment vous avez fait le, ce travail tellement important pour que euh, vos, vos personnages étaient vraiment... Ils ont crevé l'écran. Et merci. Well, first of all, thank you. And... and, and, and uh well, the way that we we shot the um, was the first film. The first question was about shooting the film, right? Uh, yeah. So, did, so. Did you ask any historic people? Oh yes, we had a lot of historic historians with us, and we had some of the, some of the foremost historians, Danish historians, on the period were with us on the film. Uh, of course, working during the script and and also during the pre-production period, when we when we shot, we shot. Uh, we had a very big puzzle. Uh, to work on with uh, my DOP who's sitting down there and we, ha we were uh, sort of trying to figure out small corners of Europe <laughs> that we could film that was okay for us, especially of course Czech Republic and we shot in Dresden as well and then we did a lot of computer generated imagery uh, for the larger shots and in terms of the, the characters I just think I, I, I think the best way to answer this is I really really had a great cast and I got very very lucky to cast these people so so they understood the scripts very well and and uh, we sort of understood each other uh, very well so I didn't I say I I, I probably said a lot of things to them but I didn't ever have to say too much <laughs> maybe the actors want to add something about their roles and any one of you maybe the actors want to add something about working with him and, and interpreting your roles? Being true to your character, but um, since when, no, but when we started, uh, Nikolai was very clear on that we're, even though we make a period film, uh, we've always, I mean, the clothes are there and the whole context and the castles, and we wanted to make a story that you can relate to, relate to today and characters and people that you could relate to today, yeah. <laughs> 